Will you want to have a good night's sleep, feel energetic when you wake up in the morning, retain this energy throughout the day and generally work at an optimal level? Unfortunately, this isn't the reality for about 90% of the population, all because of dysregulated glucose level in the bloodstream. Sadly, you and I could potentially be one of these people. In her book, the author of Glucose Revolution shares her personal insight through years of experience as a biochemist and personal experiences on how glucose revolution can help you live a more fulfilled and rewarding life. In this video, I will share what glucose is and how it works, why glucose spikes are bad, and if you are still with me, and I hope you will be, I will share 10 simple and practical hacks from the book on how to manage these glucose spikes without any dietary restrictions. In other words, how to lose weight without following any diet program. I'm on a curiosity journey of understanding the science behind weight gain and finding practical solutions for weight loss that are sustainable in the long run. The solutions that are more like healthy lifestyles with which you will never need to worry about weight gain again. I've already read two very informative books and I published the summary of their main points on this channel. I will leave links to both videos at the end of this video. Today I'm sharing the summary of the third book and the video summaries of two and other amazing books are coming to this channel very soon. If you're interested in this topic, subscribe to the channel now and join our community and be the first to be notified when the videos are live. Without further ado, this is what I learned from the glucose revolution. Glucose essentially comes from plants through photosynthesis and are in the form of starch or sweet fruits. The starches are foods like potatoes, bread, rice, pasta and cereal and sweet fruits are like mango, banana, oranges and etc. The main function of glucose is to provide energy to our body and the glucose gets converted to energy in our cells. Glucose is an instant source of energy for our bodies. That is why when we eat food that is either sweet or has a starch, we get an instant rush of energy in our bodies that is called glucose spikes. This instant rush of energy is generally short-lived for about an hour or less and is often followed by a crash of energy and hunger. Glucose spikes are more harmful than most of the people are aware of. Besides a crash of energy shortly after the spike, it has two major consequences that can negatively affect your health. Firstly, when there is an influx of glucose, the mitochondria, the place where glucose gets converted to energy, starts joining in it as they can only burn as much glucose as the cell needs for energy, not more than that. These excess of glucose leads to inflammatory diseases, heart problems, diabetes, and weight gain. The second major problem with glucose spikes is the acceleration of the process of natural aging. So to sum up, regular spikes in glucose levels throughout the day, which I'm sure is very common, makes you age faster, gain more weight, have diabetes, and cause many other diseases that I'm sure you will never like them. Now that we know what glucose is, how it works, and how harmful the glucose spikes can be, it is time for us to look into simple and inexpensive hacks provided by the author that can help you control and regulate this bad boy and flatten the curves caused by glucose spikes. Feel free to stop, take note, rewind, or hit the like button below as I go through these hacks one by one. Number 1. Stop counting calories Controversial but judging a food based on its calories is like judging a book by its page count. 100 calories of fructose, 100 calories of glucose, 100 calories of protein, or 100 calories of fat have vastly different effects on your body. Research shows that people who focus on flattening their glucose curve rather than focusing on their caloric intake lose weight more efficiently. Forget everything else and just do one simple thing. Take less glucose, or in other words, take less added sugar. Hack number two, type of sugar doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you take honey, brown sugar, or any other form of sugar instead of the regular ones as they all have the same effect more or less. The key thing to remember here is that 
Sugar is okay in moderation, different type, won't do much damage control. Number three, this one is important. Eat in the right order. Research shows the order in which you eat your food can majorly affect the level of glucose in your body. And for best results, you must eat your vegetables first because fiber in them creates a sticky thing in your small intestine. These sticky things makes it harder for glucose to get absorbed in the bloodstream. Then in the second round comes your protein and fat. Protein can be found in meat, fish, eggs, dairy and beans and fat on its own can be found in oil butter and avocados proteins and fat slow down the absorption rate making you feel satisfied for longer periods and reducing the absorption of glucose finally always have your carbohydrates in other words starches and sugars in the end it can decrease your glucose spikes by 75%, which means it slows down your aging and weight gain process by 75% on daily basis. Hack number four, add a green starter to all your meals. This isn't the same hack as the previous one. You are adding a whole new item in your meals. Any vegetable qualifies from grilled zucchini to grated carrot. Adding greens before every meal would make you feel more fulfilled for longer periods of time reduce cravings and reduce the glucose spikes. Number five, reach for vinegar before you eat. Add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and dilute it in a large glass of water. You can also take vinegar before your next sweet treat. Vinegar reduces glucose spikes by slowing down the arrival of glucose in the bloodstream. Hack number six, after you eat, move. Using your muscles, whether it be a 20-minute walk or 10-minute exercise after a sweet treat would lessen the glucose spikes, reduce the likelihood of weight gain and avoid an energy slump. Number 7. Put some clothes on your car. This hack basically means whenever you are having a sweet snack, have something else with it. For example, if you are having a brownie, get yourself some yogurt too. Number 8. Flatten your breakfast curve. It is a common assumption that eating something sweet for breakfast is a good thing because it gives us energy. But that energy is short-lived. Make a savory breakfast plate instead and have protein in it. You can add fat and fiber in it as well. It will make you feel fuller and more energetic throughout the day. But my personal opinion is, if you can, try to avoid breakfast completely. Hack number 9. Have a dessert instead of sweet snack. This basically means that the best time for having something sweet is when you have already eaten fat, protein and fiber. It works on a similar principle with previous hacks, which means having sugar on an empty stomach leads to higher glucose spikes and we want to avoid it at any cost. And the last hack is, if you want to snack, go for something savory. A slice of ham, a soft boiled egg with a dash of salt and pepper, a handful of baby carrots and a spoonful of hummus or a square of 90% dark chocolate. All these are better alternatives to sugary snacks. To conclude, here's how to avoid glucose spikes. If you are craving for something sweet, give it a 20 minutes period to cool down. If you are still craving for it, then have it after a meal. If you can't wait that long, then have a apple cider vinegar diluted in water before the treat. You can also enjoy it with some salad, nut butter and cheese etc. After you have the sweet treat, go for a 10 minute walk. These small hacks can change the quality of your life for better, making it easier to live a more fulfilling life. It seems simple, but it is often the smallest things that are the most meaningful. Did you find this video summary helpful and interesting? If you did, and if you're curious and want to know more about the science behind weight gain, watch the summary of the obesity code here or the summary of why we eat too much here. They are both informative. You can also explore the whole playlist on weight loss here. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like to support, share to spread the love and comment to connect. See you in the next one. Much love and bye.